Audacity, multi-track recording. Multi-track recording means you're going to have more than one recording layered on top of another. La. This time when I recorded, it started where my cursor was so they don't overlap. One, two, three. La. Now, I can move those around by using this tool right here so that I can move the sounds to be where I want them to be, to be together or apart. But it's actually much easier to synchronize what you're doing um, by doing it a different way. Let's try. First, go to your Edit menu, Preferences. Click on the Recording window and make sure the Overdub box, the top box, is checked. What this will do is it will let you hear whatever your first recording is while you're making the second recording. So what you do, overdubbing being called the same thing or being the same name for uh, multi-track recording, is you plug in headphones so you can hear this track and then the computer will record through the microphone just what it hears out of the air and you'll have a separate recording of everything that you're doing. I'm not plugging in headphones right now so you will hear both of them at the same time as I do them. First, let's go back to the beginning and try. Testing La one, two, testing one, two. Let's listen to just the second track. I'll mute the first track and let's play the second one. Testing one, two, testing one, two. So you can still hear the testing one, two, first track because I didn't plug in headphones. If I plugged in headphones, all we would hear is me saying la. I want to hear just this track by itself. I can mute the other one and play. Testing one, two, testing one. If I have them both open like this and I just press the solo button, it will automatically mute all of the other tracks that I have except for this one. Okay, so I can keep making tracks if I want to. Do, 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 do. Solo this track. So you can make as many tracks as you want to over top of the other ones. As long as you have headphones in, you'll have a separate sound for each one of them. Then you can go in and you can go and use your effects menu to normalize or change the volume of different things. As you're playing them back, you can use the volume slider right here to make one of the tracks louder and one of the tracks softer. And then we can play them all. So there's lots of things that you can do to mix the sound and make it sound better and make everything match and uh, be in sync if you have recorded multi-track recording. Now, if you want to get everybody together and just all record in the same room at the same time, you can certainly do that too. Good luck.